Hey guys, back here f with another part of um, Viking Conquest, and we're heading into Dosinga. This should be fun. Right, uh, oh, I get to recruit even more. Oh my god, I get uh, horsemen. Yes, <laughs> uh, that's that's awesome. That is so cool. I got horsemen. This is awesome. I've actually got. I've got a troop of horsemen. Horse archers. Cool. That is wicked. That is so cool. Right, we need to go and see this guy up here. Wow, that's bright. That's really bright. I think it's overdoing it, but yeah, I like it. Run off. The prisoner is waiting to be interrogated. He may have some information. Shawthon Kirk. Take me to him. It is time for some words. Follow me. Oh. All yours. I already hit him pretty hard. <laughs> right, okay. Thor will have our new visitor. Um, Thor, we have a new visitor. Our friend hit me hard. Come. See if you can beat him. I'll ask you some questions, and if you ask, ask answer right, you won't have to keep suffering. My name is Olaf. I'd like to meet your sister. Hmm. Why did you attack? I know nothing. Du -du -du -du. I say nothing. Scam. I know nothing. Say nothing. Okay, so... Give the prisoner water. He drinks eagerly. He has enormous thirst. Let's try to do this. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, let's try it again. He is relieved by your actions, you weakling. I lose three renowned. Why? Ah, here we go. He looks with tired eyes. Sven Bulnek ordered me to disembark in Dusinga with several men and secure the site with a long, um, long fort. Of, uh, if all had gone well, our lord Sigurd Snake in the eye, I don't get that name, would be sending another hundred men from Denmark to help Jarl Haraldulf be crowned king. I know only a bit, but I think the Jarl of Kenema promised to send five hundred men on this summer's expedition in Ingla Inglaland <laughs> if he becomes king. However, this is no longer relevant. We failed, and Sigurd Snake in the Eye will not sacrifice more men. He will need to help his brother in Ingalaland. You can't rest easy. Okay. Where is he? For a smile. Sven Bulnek has things more important to do. Sigurd called on him a few days ago from Denmark. Uh, Denmark. If you want to know where he is, go and ask Sigurd himself. But I suggest you ask him more nicely than you asked me. Uh, Sigurd is a name I have heard recently. Is he your lord? Scum, scum, scum. Okay, so... No need to suffer anymore. Prison looks you confused, but he seems more relaxed. You're pathetic. I know I'm lose. I've just lost six, but oh my god! I just saw that. You like pain? Grab his hand and break the fingers one by one. That's disgusting. Uh, no more come for you. Your boss has left you behind. You are all alone. Answer me, and I'll help. Uh, I wanna. ask a few questions. That one, nope. That one, nope. That one, nope. Okay, then I will do persuasion. 
hundred experience. I'm your prisoner, and I'm alone in your hands, but my boss will not forget me. Sven Bolnek never abandons his men. I'll answer what you ask, but only if it doesn't affect my master's cause. Ah, here we go. He twists his mouth and looks at you with contempt. Sigurd is the, um, is the Sven Bolnek's Jarl. And Sven is my hair uh, sire. Both of them are powerful men, great warriors, so stay away from them or they will send you straight to hell. He toots his head and stares, pondering the answer. You wish to know about the great Ragnar? Lord, Lord Broke? From... Oh my god, I'm not even going to... Ying Lenetin clan. The descendant of Odin here? Eh? Well... He was a Jarl, filled by all Christians. He attacked England. No, that oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. I'm just going to be calling it England from now on. And Francia. Many times. And he was famous for his huge expeditions. He knew how to unite them and lead men. He looks directly at you with uh, emphatic blue eyes, whatever it is. Empathetic, that's the one. Ragnar was more than a man, and his sons too, for he had many sons with his wives, especially Latha Gre uh, Gretha and Aslaug. Not counting all the other women, Ivar the bon uh, Boneless, Bjorn Ironside, Christ, Halfdan, Sig uh, Sigurd, Ubi and others. He had more than ten sons and many daughters. If you are so clever, you will avoid confronting them. You should even ask Sigurd's forgiveness for killing his men in Dorsinga. He spits to the side before continuing. Unfortunately, King Ale of Northumbria in England took Ragnar prisoner and threw him into a pit of poisonous snakes. Now Ragnar's sons have gone to Northumbria and killed its king. Northumbria is Danish land now, and soon the rest of England will follow. Sigurd, Sna uh, Sigurd and Ragnar's other sons are calling to arms a lot of men in Denmark. Uh, Denmark. They will join Ivar and Halfdan and will advance over the rest of England, everyone knows. Olaf, were you in the attack on the merchant ship called the Wooden Rick? He thinks for a few, a few seconds. Yes, we attacked some ships recently before Sven Bulnek went away from us to Northumbria. I remember the Wooden Rick because I killed its name. Wooden was an important god in England. Really? before all became Christians. I remember once meeting a family that still worshipped Wooden in a village we looted. They were the only ones whose lives we spared, uh, were spared. Wooden we called Odin. Uh, we call Odin. Oh, okay. Why did you attack the ship? There were only travellers and traders. He shrugs. They were idiots. They stopped in the wreckage of our... Um, of other ships we had attacked, and it took us a few hours to catch them. The wind was favourable, and we boarded them. There were only a few warriors on board, so it was easy. Listen, this is very important. Did you, uh, did anyone survive your attack? He swallows. Very few, unfortunately. Usually we try to catch them to sell as slaves. Mm, where did the prisoners go? Sven Bullneck took them with him. He was going to leave them in his hideout before continuing his journey. North. The hideout is in Denmark. It is a good place and well defended, but I will not tell you where it is. I will not betray my masters, so you can just kill me. He raises his hand before you can answer. No need to torture him for that information. There's a man in the port of Ribby who deals with the Vikings for their slaves. He is a Frisian from Dasinga, who has thrived in Ribby as a portmaster, or as portmaster. One often finds himself at uh, him outside by the 
docks. He is not a good person, but he will sell whatever information you may require. When you talk to him, please do not mention my name, because it was I who forced him to leave the singer some years ago. I have nothing to add. No more questions. Well? You are masochistic. You take bread knife and cut the skin in, on his arms into strips. Okay, I don't have any more questions. Oh, yes, I already hit him hard. I do not think we can get more information. It seems that your fate, that your fate, your wired, takes you to Denmark, my friend. What you want to do with the prince, prisoner, kill him as a murderer and does not deserve to live, free him, I don't want it. It will be done, as you have said, and you, what will you do now? In Frizzy, I'm not one. Uh, I'm not wanted. I've earned powerful enemies against whom I cannot fight now. Thonric, my priority is my mother. I must save her. I will try to get passage to Denmark on some ship and look for Sven, Bullneck. But maybe we will meet again. I know you'll be back some day. Yes, with an army, the Jarls and the kings of Frissy will pay for what you've done to me. No, I hate this land. You will not see me again. It is possible. If I return, I will stop and to say hello, my friend. I understand it. You're a man hunted by revenge. Sven, Sigurd, and now the Jarl of Kenema. I hope you find peace some day. Now I need to find a boat that is travelling to Ribby. I can help you with that. One of Sven's boats was left behind, relatively undamaged, and has been repaired in secret. It is our gift to you for saving us. The ship awaits at the, um, a beach near the Singer, and also someone else is waiting for you there. I have a favour to ask, Ranulf. You remember I told you that someone was in the house of the Jarl of Kenema, someone passing me information? Well, that person is my daughter. The Jarl snatched her to serve in his house is a maid for his wife. She managed to escape from Kenema, and now I want you to take her along. If the Jarl finds her, he'd take her back to his house, or maybe he would kill her. I need you to do this for me, Ranolf. Uh, Ranolf. And the boat is yours. I'll take her with me and will protect her. No, where am I going? No place for her. I cannot protect her. She should stay here. She stays here. She dies. I take her with me, there's less possibility of her dying, so I'm going to take her. Westgund, uh, Gessend, my friend, Westgund. Oh, yeah. Doot, 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 doot. This could... Ah, oh, crap. I may have just seriously screwed up with this fish. D uh, dried meat, dried meat. You will receive ten. That'll do it. There you go. I must pay eight. I've got three thousand, dude. <laughs> that is not too bad. Oh, I got my own boat. I've got fifty men. 23 of them are horsemen. Yeesh. It's late at night and your men need some rest. Come back in the morning. Are you serious? Okay, um... I'm gonna wait here for some time, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, wait here. Here's him in rest and recover from her. Right, walk down the... Uh, okay. The sea breeze caresses your face. You hear the seagulls over your head, and the smell of salt is getting stronger. In the distance, you distinguish the silhouette of a boat on a hidden beach. It is the ship of Thorncourt. Told you, uh, th that Thonkirk told you about. Your ship walked down the beach. Ah, oh, there. There it is. 
This is awesome. I'm actually getting my own boat now. This is cool. Oh, people. Do I need to kill them? Hello. Brunhild. Brunhild. Do not come close to me. I am tired of being abused by every person who crosses my path. Calm down. Your father, Thorn Kirk, sent me to find you. I... I am sorry, but please understand, my life has been a living hell since I became a maid in the house of the Jarl of Kenema. I used to live in a small village, Dosinga. I was happy. My father, Thonkirk, cared a lot for me since my mother died. But one day, the Jarl of Kenema stopped in our village, and he saw me. He damn him. Forced my father to send me to his house as a maid for his wife. He promised that he would respect me, but he lied. I don't like to speak of the well. S uh, don't want, like to speak of this. Well, since then I had really became a slave. I had to give myself to him, and then to his men. I so desperately wanted to escape. If only I could start a new free life. You could take me with you. I could help mend you the wounds of your warriors. I could even learn to be a warrior myself, if that's what it takes to be free again. Will you take me with you, sir? Frissy has not treated me well either, especially the Jarl of Kenema. I'm leaving this land and you're coming with me. I am, really? Would you help me escape and protect me? Well, I am in no position to be picky. I would be pleased to join you in exchange for my freedom. Yay, Tenrenan! I think you would find that I would be a most valuable addition to your ranks. I am well versed in the old traditions and the lands, uh, and the land, and can declaim several of the epic poems of my people. I will also use everything in my grandma, uh, everything my grandma taught me, to keep my new companions healthy. I promised your father to take you with me. He wants you as far as possible from the Jarl of Kenema, and I understand why. You are welcome in my party. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Wait. I just... I can't bring up the party menu. Okay. Whatever. Are these supposed to be like my men? Sailors! I'd like to chat, but I must complete my chores now. And they all do the same, do they not? Yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. So it's you. The ship like, ah, you are ran off. Thonkirk told me you would, um, you would come here. Get on the ship. My men and I will show you how easily she sails. She sails. She, sha she sails. I am on the ship. Brunhilde. Brunhild. Um. Okay, in this tutorial you will learn how to control a ship. Take your time to learn how to command your crew so you be able uh, will keep a cool head in the first developing naval battles. Click K to continue. Nope. It's that one. In a naval battle it often helps to get the over <coughs> get an overview. You can look around by moving the mouse. Give me a second. Or get your perspective back on your ship by clicking backspace again. Click K to continue. If you want to make your ship move, you can give the crew quite a row. The more crew you have, the more speeds you will gain through rowing. You can give commands to row forward, to row fast forward, to stay or to row backwards, click the up or down button. Arrow keys to switch between these commands. <coughs> Your current command is represented by the arrow above or below. Wait, are we moving? Yeah, we are. Cool. Um, represented by above the arab above or below your ship in the upper right corner of your display upper right corner ah i see try give different round commands oh cool oh cool that's 
that's yeah that's that's the one that is so cool oh wrong button oh maybe right if you want to direct your ship you can give command to row straight starboard hard starboard port or hard port click l the left or the right arrow key to switch between the commands since we'll be going to down mark I'll be doing right uh, your current command is representing the arrow <coughs> by the arrows to right and left representation in upper right hand corner try okay I need to go back a little bit and there we go Okay, if there's a favourable wind, you can give the command to set sail. But if you are in a headwind, you should give the command to reef the sail. Click enter to toggle between these commands. Your current command is represented by the sail representation in the upper display. Your current position represented by the blue flag. Try. Did I do anything? Ah, wrong one. My bad. Okay, so that's that's okay. If there is a favourable wind, you can give the command to set sail. But if you are in, okay, I read that already. Um, now you know the basics of the commands. You just need to control the ship. If you want to board an enemy ship in a naval battle, just try to catch it, and your crew will do the rest. For now, take your time. Try out the ship. When you are done, land your ship at the beach where you started. Oh crap! You're kidding me, aren't you? So I've got to sh aim for there. Okay. Are we nearly there? Over there, there we are. And doot. So, yeah, this is a pain in the ass, but I'm going to be ending this episode off here with my sailor buddies <laughs> so see you next time um, I have docked the ship and this is what has come up you've obtained your first ship a ship doesn't simply make life uh, make it feasible for you to cross the sea it makes you rich if you engage in trade across the sea it makes you a feared man and you and um, if you make quick raids and settlements on the coast it makes you a ruler if you conquer foreign lands the Norsemen say it will even bring you to the afterlife okay um however traveling on a, s a ship is also dangerous the sea is like an open grave beneath the hull awaiting you and your men the storms of winter will harm your ship but calm weather isn't much better because it forces your men to row to avoid overtaxing the crew it is customary to stop up uh, stop traveling at night and to rest on land a ship is also v um a valuable possession the owner should always keep an eye on it come back to the place as soon as you want to sail come back to this place okay yeah this is uh, that was just the last piece I know I sort of said goodbye and all that <laughs> but I didn't realize it was gonna say this so I'm just gonna end this episode off here now after seeing that but that is cool um, oh yes I've leveled up I'll do that quickly and the fact that I've got 51 people now it's allowing me to have uh, attributes 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 right I wanted some weapon master can't get any more athletics which is a pain in my ass gonna get a draw though what Um, where did the draw point go? Okay, stupid fan. Whatever. Still can't believe I managed to do that. But yeah, this is saving and exiting. See you next time.